Well, we had a little breaking news today. Mm. Cam Hayward signed. How awesome is that? Yay. I'm happy Very for happy. Him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think any yins are out there. True yinzer could be disappointed with it. Um, I'm shocked by the couple of like complainers that I've run across. They all seem to be under this delusional thought that Hayward has been some like injury riddled old man for like eight seasons. Like, I don't know where <laughs> you're getting that from. I think it was Allison probably remembers it was four seasons that it's been, you know, from last year before last year, they had like an injury that cost him any significant time. I mean, that's a long time for a player that plays as hard and as many snaps as he does. Yeah. Look at I his numbers. And... Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at his numbers. I think wasn't he put before he got hurt, wasn't he posting like 10, 11 sacks a year every year yeah, or something like that? Two, I think he had two back to back 10, 10 plus sack seasons. Right before, uh, before yeah. the season before the groin yeah. injury. So, yeah. so, I mean, I think it's a mix of that and a little bit of, uh, you know, remorse of not getting Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. So, you know, it's like, uh, which, you know, you got to get over. Um, I think Joe and I were over it like a month and a half ago. We kind of thought it wasn't going to happen. It didn't happen. Not a big surprise. And you got to move on. But yeah, I mean, if, if there's a team right now that probably desperately needs some senior leadership and a captain, because I think this team's probably you'll underdeveloped. Um, it's now, and that's the guy you need. So, um, hats off to the Steelers. It's great that he's going to retire a Steeler, and uh, you know, it's not a bad hit too. At three years of forty-five, and what sixteen millions already accounted for, he gets a fifteen million dollars signing bonus. So we were already giving um, him sixteen million this year. Right, the, the right, yeah, it's almost like it's like the equivalent of like a handshake. Like we want to keep you, and this shows mm-hmm. we want to keep you because we're going to give you the sixteen million we were already going to give you regardless. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, if you get hurt again or you don't perform, we'll drop the Ben Hines Ward X on you and, you know, just tell me, you know, we don't want to keep you. I mean, there's I don't know that there's like a really a serious downside for the Steelers in this. I think it's a show of good faith. I think it keeps Cam. It eliminates drama. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Because, you know, nobody want nobody. I mean, I saw um, I shared a post on Twitter the other day, uh, reshared. Uh, a picture of Franco Harris in a Seahawks uniform, right? And it was something like, you know, post a picture of like, why does it, you know, post the, the the most wrong looking picture, you know, of any athlete you can think of. And that was one, and that was it. And I was like, I, yeah. I sort of wondered, like, I can't imagine, because you know that Cam, if he hadn't gotten, he would have gone somewhere else. Oh, I don't yeah. think that he would have retired. You know, he yeah, wouldn't and- have wanted to go somewhere else, but I feel like he would have gone to play f- for a few more years for somebody else, hopefully not the brands, but now either way, you're not going. Injury. I think he felt like right. he had something to prove. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So yeah. now we don't have yeah. to, you know, we don't have to see that happen. Right. Thank so God. That's, it's really great. Yeah. They actually saved $9 million by yeah. <laughs> extending yeah. him. I heard that earlier yeah. in cap space in case we want to, I don't know, bring back Patrick Peterson. Wah, right. Wah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. You know, I, I know. Think and I think well, that's part of the remorse too, right? I mean, we saw what happened with him, but I mean, I think they that's also on the Steelers putting him in a position that he probably wasn't, you know, meant to be. It's not like they're gonna take Cam Hayward and you know put him as a you know safety or or a linebacker. He's gonna be, you know, a trench guy. It's what he's always been, and he he'll do well. And and again, I still say I think some people say, you know, it's you know, you're full of crap, but you still need that voice in the locker room. You still need that voice for a reason. He's it. He's been it for the last eight to 10 years. So you might as well finish with it. Mm-hmm. Now let's get him a damn Super Bowl. Yes. Oh, um, has he, has he ever been in a, was he in, he was in the, in the, uh, in the, in the Green Bay Super Bowl, right? No, I think he came this season after. Wow. He came this season after. Oh, oh yeah, how about, this, did, how about yeah. this ridiculous stat? You know that TJ Watts never won a playoff game. Like every time I hear that, I can't wrap my head around it. My head, my brain like shuts that fact out and then it'll come up again later. And I'll be like, oh, I forgot that I knew that. I don't want to yeah. know that. No, oh, that's just yeah. that's just that's just yeah, and it it does. I don't care what anybody says, I it does diminish your credentials a tad. Like JJ Watts probably a lock for the Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. but there's that hanging over him where he never, I don't know if they even won a playoff game. Maybe he won one ever right. in his yeah. career there, you know? And it's like, I mean, yeah. 
you, you have to just wonder if, if that, you know, at least Mike Singletary won one early in his career. Right. And yeah, um, Reggie White, if it wasn't for him going to the Packers, he'd probably never have won one. But I mean, you know, how many times do you see uh, the Reggie White highlights and it's always Super Bowl 31, you know, and he, he took over that game. And otherwise, he may have been just a great guy that played for, you know, the, the Eagles that never won a Super Bowl. So, yeah, That's three I, and, playoff wins in his career. JJ. 2012 right. AFC wild card, 2013 AFC wild card, and then 2020 AFC wild card. All oh, that's more two. than I thought. Yeah, it is. I thought it was one. Mm-hmm. Right. Three, yeah. Yeah. Three, right. Three, How many did Derek Watt win? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So now that they signed Cam. Yeah. Who's next? Prior Muth. I was surprised that they actually, I, for whatever reason, I was surprised that his was first, but not that it really matters. I mean, I, part of me wants, part of me would rather them wait. You know what I mean? Because it's like, what if Arthur Smith's offense, you know, doesn't, you know, falls flat, right? And what if, what if he doesn't have the career season that we're all expecting him to have? Like, you know, what do you do then? And sort of, I sort of feel like I like him, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess, I'm with uh, you on that. Um, I, I like, I mean, I, you know, I mean, I'm a Penn Stater, right? Um, right yeah, but, sure you, are. <laughs> you know, when we get to the pit, when we get the, uh, the pros, as much as a Penn Stater wants a Penn Stater to do well, a pit guy wants, a Garrow wants to see a pit person do well, a WV alum, or I mean, if I was at Latrobe several times, and uh, honestly, Frazier may have been the most popular guy there. Yeah, you know, um, it, because of the WVU contingent. So, I'm with you though, Allison. I feel like he needs to prove himself. Like, okay, you are in the Arthur Smith offense now. That's supposed to be tight end talented. It's supposed to bring out the best in you. Let's see if it brings out the best in him. Because uh, mm-hmm. I don't think we've seen his best yet. And and I know uh, he's had some horrible offensive coordinators, quarterback roulette. Um, uh, but you know what? You you should have a, a decent quarterback throwing to you this year. Mm-hmm. You know, if you go. 700 yards. What I say last week, Joe, go 700, 800 yards receiving uh, and five touchdowns, six touchdowns. And I'm good. Mm-hmm, but, right. you know, we can't do uh, we can't do 300 yards and three touchdowns or 400 mm-hmm. yards and two touchdowns. And right. You know, I Muth was great is, how, is, how is he any more worthy of like the contract extension than Najee Harris? Like, I don't see him as right. being, like any more earth shattering than Naj. And so if you're not going to give it to Naj this season, and by the way, you weren't, he wasn't asking for like $30 million or something. Right. You, right. Then how can you, how does it make sense to give it to, to Friar Muth? I feel like they're on that same kind of plane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Najee thing makes no sense because zero you would have had him for one year for like $6 million. Zero how do you I, not? Yeah, I mean, I, $6 million I'm is still baffled change. by that. I don't understand it at all. That was weird. If he does perform so well in Arthur Smith's offense this year, which is what you're hoping for, that he proves himself, then you're going to pay him more. So I don't, I mean, to me, even if he wasn't like, if he had a year commensurate with the other years he's had, he'd be Mm -hmm. worth that six or $7 million or whatever it was. It Mm -hmm. just doesn't make any sense. No. I think no, the biggest... and Joe and I talked about that last week. And, and Joe, I mean, his stats, his stats are quite impressive for all the crap he's played with and behind. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I mean, it, it, you could argue maybe maybe the most impressive of, of, of considering what he's had to play with and who mm-hmm. he's had to play yeah. for. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. And I really <laughs> feel like, and Joe, I, you chime in when you're ready because I know you agree. I think, I think he's gone after the season. I think he's going to try to do as best he can, have a breakout season or whatever, and he's gone. Mm-hmm. I think Who? they blew that. Uh, Najee. Oh, Najee's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, I think the biggest question about Firemuth is his health. Can he stay healthy? Because mm-hmm. he's really been. He's had a whole bunch of injuries. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, man, yeah. you got you to gotta be available. That's I mean, because I think if he could stay healthy, I think he'll concussion. have a great season. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, the concussions are oh, scary wow. for him, right? Because it seemed like... I think I feel like one of the last ones, and maybe I'm just making shit up, but I feel like one of the last ones when they showed it, like the hit, it was like it was like somebody just went like that. 
You know what I mean? Like, like when all that stuff like later was that in time is like Tua. I mean, all that stuff right. was really concerning. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I agree. I think. I think. I mean, to me, that's super concerning because I. I feel like the last concussion he had, we were all healing, hearing like, eh, he can maybe do this one more time. You know what I mean? Like you right. can't keep getting hit in the head like that. I mean, this mm -hmm. isn't. You know, you don't want this kid's forget football. You don't want this kid's life to be like in danger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. He's so young. Yeah. Exactly. Right. We'll see. Yeah. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sold on giving him with the contract either. And mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I, it's, it's just weird. It's, it's like the, it's like the Steelers are saying almost to the whole team, like, well, we'll wait and see. We don't know. <laughs> we don't right. know whether this, maybe they're like, like you said, and I was like, I don't know whether this is going to work or not. So, mm -hmm. you know, let's just, let's just hope maybe Arthur Smith will suck. Maybe, yeah. you know, Russell Wilson will suck. Maybe all this will, will, will be right. terrible. We'll just blow the whole thing. And if they want to blow the whole thing up, they, they could, they have like a ton of cap space next year. So yeah, yeah they do. And he, that's what they told Najee Harris, according to Harris. Do you know what I mean? That like, yeah, we don't really know what's going to happen with the offense this year. Yeah, we'll see, mm -hmm. which is crazy to me. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess that you don't know, but you're not supposed to say that out loud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> make it till you make it, man. Come on. It's right. not sure. you. We're worried about everyone else. It's right. what yeah. we <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Valid concern there. Yeah. Mm. Uh so yeah, we've this past week we have finally had the death of Ayuk Watch. Yeah. Um I hate him and I hate the 49ers. I hate the numbers four and nine. I hate, I hate the number Lynch. 13. I hate, uh, I had, a, I had a, I, yeah, I had a whole bunch of, uh, uh, fantasy football drafts the past couple of days and I had a chance to take Ayuk. I'm like, no, no, no. I want, I do not want you on yeah. my team. You, you, I mean, yeah. but the, the, the talk is, this is, this is, this is what the, the average fan is saying. Stupid Omar Khan waited till the last minute to get Ayuk, and now he didn't get him, and now the Steelers are screwed. You really think that's how that went down? I no. highly doubt that. They made an offer, and the 49ers wouldn't take their part of it. I mean, that was the narrative from, from the get-go. The Steelers made an offer. Ayuk said yes to the deal. The 49ers wanted a wide receiver or somebody substantial in return. The Steelers weren't willing to give up that substantial player. I heard it was TJ Watt. I did a piece on it the other day. I don't know if we know if that's true or not, but Albert right. Freer from Sports Illustrated said it was, was Watt was one of the players they were interested in. Obviously, the Steelers weren't going to give Watt up. They were offering like second and third round picks or something, and the 49ers wouldn't take it. And so the, the deal just hit a standstill. Breer said that Ayuk was never interested in going to the Browns or Patriots. They were never serious contenders, despite both off, despite the Browns making like a substantial offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do kind of wonder if they were like, pawn, you know, pawns or whatever, you know, like maybe Ayuk was thinking because this has been speculated a lot. Maybe Ayuk was like, OK, I'm going to try and you know, uh, have this, the, the 49ers up their deal, you know, up with the same thing he got offered to be like the second offer they made. Right. Him is he just walked away. Right. With. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All this for nothing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. To me, it's the, I think they got played a little bit. I mean, you never really even heard how you say, I want to go to the Steelers. It's where I want to be. Right. He's, <laughs> uh, it just didn't, he did it, say it once on like the pivot yeah. podcast, but that yeah. was, yeah. This was like in the, this was like before yeah, it was early, super early, like in the spring or something. He's also not going to ever say that if he's got four brain cells to rub together because right. you're trying to play all sides of this situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? To and include the team you're on that you're now hoping is going to increase the amount of money they offer you. Because as soon as you say you want to go to the Steelers, the 49ers aren't desperate to try to keep you. We don't, we want volunteers, not hostages. I'm sure the mm -hmm. 49ers feel the same way. Yeah, I, I can see that, but still, the way I look at it is, I feel the Steelers got played a little bit. He was yeah. not going to come here. He was not coming here, and and uh, he used that for leverage, and he got what he wanted to do, and that was it. And the Steelers, you know, you look back to to the Deontay Johnson thing at the time. I was okay with the trade. You know, they they needed speed at the cornerback position. They got that, but you know, they had nothing to give back. I mean, yeah. you know, maybe with the 49ers taking Deontay Johnson, maybe uh, they sure is, are, are not you know going to take anything else that we have to offer. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't really much to offer. Uh, so, you know, you look at it and it's just not 
didn't work out the way it should have been. And, and I think the Steelers did fairly well in the off season. Uh, mm -hmm. They certainly weren't an F grade. Omar's done pretty good, but this is one where they missed big. The plan B, if there was a plan B, didn't work. The players didn't come to fruition like they wanted to. I think they hung on to Ayuk a little too long. I think mm -hmm. they could have got off of that and, and tried to find somebody else because uh, right now I think we have the worst receiving core in the room. That I agree with. That I don't think that the Steelers and I don't think Omar Khan got duped for a second. You know, I think this is like if you see a car on Facebook Marketplace and you're like, you know, they went three thousand dollars for it. You're like, I'll give you fifteen hundred. And they're like, no. And I'm going to dig in our heels. And then they come back to you a month later and are like, OK, I'll take your fifteen hundred dollars. You didn't get played. You know what I mean? Or if they never take your deal, you didn't get played. You put your offer out there and they chose not to take it. And that's how I look at Ayuk. Omar Khan made an offer, an offer that was reasonable and fair for a player that has had one really good season and, and the 49ers wouldn't agree to it. Do you know what I mean? And and so did maybe Ayuk play everybody a little bit? Maybe, but I think he was doing business. And I think that the Steelers and Omar Khan made an offer. It didn't work out. And I don't think they got played. I don't know that I really think Omar Khan ever really believed he was going to get Ayuk. I think he felt like, well, I'll throw a number out there because if we can get him for something that makes sense for the team, of course mm -hmm. we'll take him, but we're not desperate. We're not throwing TJ Watt and George Pickens and all kinds of stuff at him for this. I mean, I think that maybe they should have picked somebody else up. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But right. That's what I'm saying is I, I feel like, okay, if you like you use the car analogy, you want to yeah. throw a number out there. Fine. Okay. I don't get a move on and find the next guy. Right. right. And it just exactly. felt like they never found the next guy. Cause now we're sitting here and Van Jefferson. Although uh, is our number two Tomlin, we don't need him. We've got him. Van Jefferson and Scott. Right. Woohoo. Yeah. Super Bowl winners. Yeah. Two Super Bowl winners. <laughs> I'd be happier with Justin Jefferson, but um, well, I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I think the I I, I think the uh, agent for Ayuk deserves like agent of the year award or something because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I'll bet this I'll bet this is what happened back in like March or May or something like that. He said, "Listen, I could get you off of the, the, to to take off this summer, and uh, everybody talk about you every single night, and." And we're just gonna create so much drama, and we're just you're just gonna stay here. But you got like three months off. How's that sound? That, that's, that's, that's... We didn't essentially pay for him. That was my one thing is I just didn't want to overpay for him. Do you know what I mean? I felt like there was a ceiling for what he was worth, and and I was glad to see we didn't pull a Washington Commanders. Look at the cute cover. Yeah, yeah I'm on doggy duty here, so sorry Aww. about that. Oh, that's okay. What a cutie. You haven't seen the ladies or Joe. Well, you've seen Joe a few times. You haven't seen the ladies in a while. Oh, uh, so hi. Seen... What's his name or her name? Ewok. Ewok. Hi, Ewok. Ewok. I love it. Buddy. Yeah. Just stealing He's the show. Up, doggy. Yeah. There's your wide receiver, too, right there, Ewok. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, so handsome. Oh, big gun. Big gun. There was that rumor that, uh, that, they would have traded Ayuk to the Steelers if they got Cortland Sutton from the Broncos. Right. Yeah. And we'll and the Broncos said no. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll I wonder. Play them if, in week two. We don't want to lose to them. I I wonder if I wonder if if the Broncos said no because um Sean Payton Payton hates Russell Wilson so much. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, wouldn't surprise me. He strikes me as very salty. He does. Yeah. For sure. But I, I think no matter which way we can all, I guess, have different opinions on. I'm pretty much with Leanne for most of the way there, just maybe different ways of looking yeah. on who got what, but uh they're left in a with a bit of a pickle now. Um yeah. Big and time. uh you know that that's the hard part. So do you that's guys believe part. that Tomlin was like completely blowing smoke at the press conference today that 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 wide receiver two position is just completely vacant? <sighs> Yeah. Uh, I mean, what did he say? That's like, oh, I was, I was concerned. He said he was worried and... about it, and and he went and told the guys that in the wide receiver room that he was worried. But then he saw them working, and <laughs> they were doing such a good job that 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 now he's not worried anymore. Was the long and short of it? It sounds like an '80s movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like a so Mike the other narrative that takes me. The other narrative that bothers me is there's a lot of fans, Steeler fans in particular, saying, "Hey, you know what?" Arthur Smith is only a one receiver offense. We're good. You must not be paying attention because when you look at like when they, when the Titans had Corey Davis, he was having 900 yard 
receiving, you know, years. He was having, you know, five to six touchdowns a year. They used him when AJ Brown was kicking and they got Corey Davis in there. They used him a lot. So you can't tell me that had they not brought in a different receiver, they would not have used him or utilized him. So uh, the, the whole narrative that the Arthur, we don't need him with an Arthur Smith offense is just baloney. It's, it's also what if Pickens more. gets hurt? What if Pickens gets double teamed yeah. every game? Yeah. I mean, do you know what I mean? You can't, yeah. you can't pretend like you can only have one wide receiver. There's too many other variables. The one thing I'm, I'm, I yeah. do wonder about a little bit was like, if they'll tend to use Friar Muth more as that second wide receiver. Yeah. It's kind of how I'm thinking that, that yeah, they're kind of got to happen. They, they may have to. Catch. Yeah. Because yeah. the thing about it is when you look at this, and, and I know we're probably going to get to picking the season, what scares me about that wide receiving room is I'm not so sure Pickens is the number one receiver because of a lot of reasons. He took yeah. himself out of the game last year. If he's getting quintuple you know, coverage, triple coverage, he's not getting a ball, he's going to have a fit, and he's probably going to get that easily. And, you know, I'm not so sure. I've always kind of seen him as the number two. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, if he, he's, he is number one material. He just hasn't shown it yet. Right. Um, could he have a breakout season and get it? Uh, maybe. But I think he's going to have – I mean, if he does, he deserves it. Because ben he is going to face – today he's been a model citizen. Those were his right, yeah, that's what Tom, yeah, Tomlin citizen. said. He's, he's grown He's grown as a man. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, ever let's since that it. fight with the wide receivers coach, like early in the preseason, mm -hmm. ever since that, he's like straightened up and he's been like a model citizen. Yeah. Well, you know, I was there – well – was I there that day? I may not. That was like day one. And I mean, look, yeah, you're going to have, you're going to have that, you know, it's, I think people made a little bit more of it than they needed to. I did text <laughs> Joe. I, I was like, Joe, big, big, big yelling match right away. Right off the bat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but that, that's, you know, what, what happened in training camp, it's, you know, understandable, you know, temper slur up, whatever. What happens but in Latrobe stays in Latrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Literally it's in the middle of nowhere. It, it, right, yeah, there's yeah. no way it can go out, but, uh, uh but what happens when he gets double teamed all the time? Um, Firemuth gets double teamed, and I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what they're gonna do. You know, maybe they'll they'll just. I don't know what. You know, J Pickens does not get his numbers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then how is he going to act? Right. Then how is he going to be? And that's how. Yeah, that is a huge question. Is this guy wide receiver one material? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going in the last year. Smart in his ear, letting him know like your contractual future is right. hanging in the balance. Like you have to get your crap together and mm -hmm. show people that you are this guy, and like let everybody think it was all Deontay Johnson and not you. You know. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a good one. Yeah. It's just, hey, hey, you like those thirty million dollar a years? Uh, these <laughs> these guys are getting. Keep your mouth shut. Um, have a good attitude. Have a good year. That could be you, bro. So yeah, that's a that's a big incentive. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, no, that's a great point. Yep. Go for it, Joe. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's let's pick no. these. Uh, let's let's start our predictions. Okay. Oh, We're gonna shit. do game this is gonna by be game. The hardest. This is gonna be a really difficult. This test. is going to be Put extremely. To win every game. God. You know, why not? Why not? Uh, okay, let's start week one, Sunday, at the Falcons. What do you got? Win. I think it's a loss. Win. You think it's a loss? Yeah. Everybody win. else has win. Yeah, Leanne and I remember what it's like to be at Mercedes-Benz. You know, or, All uh, the Steelers you know. fans. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you think it's going to be like a like a home game for the Steelers? It was when Allison and I oh, were yeah. there. I mean, it was crazy <laughs> and it sounds like it's going to be again, if, if yeah. you know, just based on the people that are saying they're going and all that. Mm -hmm. shit. Who knows? But yeah, it probably will be. But they, this is the Arthur Smith revenge game, right? And and I don't know. I mean, the big X factor is Kirk Cousins, and Kirk Cousins has barely played. There is a question whether it's going to be Kirk Cousins. It might be Penix. <sighs> Is there really? I didn't even. I don't know. No, we haven't heard anything. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I, Tomlin keeps talking about Kirk Cousins, so I'm presuming. Yeah. Be, but but uh, I, I I think because of the Arthur Smith factor, I think he really wants to stick it to them. Mm -hmm. But but how messed up is this offense going to be with a with a offensive line that is. Who knows yeah. what the heck is going on? It's supposed to be the strength, yeah. and now it's it's a it's a mess. Mm -hmm. I, I have it as a loss of circumstance, right? I mean, it's I don't know who they'd be playing. I mean, you, you're going out there with 
new offensive lineman, an injury offensive line. Um, there's so many unanswered questions. And look, you can say, hey, uh, they didn't do real well in the preseason. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean a lot, but it still means something. And they just didn't look good. They're not jiving at all. I just think it's a big task. You go on the road. I know it's going to be probably a home game. You are right about that 100%. But I I just really um, – I don't know. I just don't have the faith in that they're just going to come away there with a win. Um, just because of the way it's, it's new. I mean, these are all new guys. New quarterback, new offensive lineman, uh, new receiving core, new system. Um, hey, they could throw 50 points up. I don't know, but I, I don't see it that way. I see it going the wrong way. <laughs> this totally has the makings of – a disaster of an offense, at least in the beginning for, for all the reasons you mentioned. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, but I still say when, um, no, you we, wouldn't change your Jersey. I changed my Jersey. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, what happened? You go from Plex to Cordell or Plex went, to, I went from Plex to, to, uh, Juju. Juju? Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> okay. Oh, so I've been, I've been buying cheap, uh, jerseys from eBay and uh, I just got this this Plex one, and it had the smelliest, oh. nastiest smell on. Not 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 like odor, body odor, but like some kind of detergent that made me ill. Oh, and, yeah. it, and, and it yeah. made me, and, and I think I was allergic to it too because I started to itch. I'm like, you know what? I'm just taking this damn thing right. off. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna wash it. So that's 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 on was me. So. Game worn and never washed. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, okay, week two at the Broncos. The Russell Wilson revenge game. I say win. I say win. Look, I love a freaking revenge game. I think we're going to come out the gate strong. I think Arthur Smith is going to be angry. I think Russell Wilson is going to be really angry. And I think he's shown that he plays well under pressure. Do you know what I mean? That he can he can make it count when he needs to a lot of times. I think he's going to win. I think we'll fall apart later, but I think we're winning those <laughs> two. It's hard to play in Denver. I'm sort of on yeah. the fence. I feel like it's going to be a loss. I don't want it to be well lost, but well, you got that you you got that uh, mile high thing, so right, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if we lost. I just I just think Russell Wilson's going to bring it. I think if we lose, it's going to be close. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I think um, I think it's a win. Uh, I think the Broncos are kind of in the same boat, right? New new rookie quarterback. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm going to say that about our first week in the Falcons, I think it's only fair to say that about the Broncos. Uh, I think our defense. Our defense should be elite, should be. Um, yeah. I think it'll be enough to stop the Broncos. I think it might be a low-scoring game, right? Like maybe like 14-10, 17-14, 17-13, something like that. Three to nothing. I'm, yeah, <laughs> three to six. <laughs> right. uh, so I'll give it I'll – I'll, I think they're one-on-one -on -one at this point. <clears throat> Imagine this Steelers defense against a rookie quarterback. Mm -hmm. That just that just has I, – I see, I have this theory that Sean Payton is a jackass. So for many reasons, so I could see, I could see this being a failure for the Broncos. So yeah, I'll say, I'll say Steelers win because you know, Russell and you know, the hype around that game is going to be insane. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and I'll bet, I'll bet Sean Payton says something really stupid too, to really, to really get us all fired up. He's okay. The home opener against the chargers, September 22nd. I think that's a win. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe maybe I'm I'm gonna have him go undefeated. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a win too. I mean it's too. it's just gonna be insane at the act, you know what I mean? Like everybody's just gonna be just you know, insane. It's our only home game in the month of September. Thank you, Roger Goodell. Um right, yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, so I'll go with a win too. I think the Chargers same way. Uh Harbaugh's there. You want to talk about not such a nice guy. Um mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of learning there, a lot of young youth there. Uh, not the Chargers' time; they may be really good in a year or two from now. But yeah, I got it as a win. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. have this notion that the Chargers are going to be so good because because Harbaugh is going to I don't know if he's if he's Gandalf or what whatever whatever the hell he is. He has some magic power to magically make his team better. Uh, all I've seen is is that they that they've lost a bunch of people, and it's it's it, it he's he has a really good throwing quarterback, so he's going to run all the time. Like what? Like this just does not make sense. 
Um, I feel bad for Herbert, but anyway, I, I think I think it's an easy win for. I I, I think the Chargers are going to struggle this year, like you said, Darren. Maybe in a year or two, once he gets his people, maybe they'll be better. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, this looks like a disaster. Yeah. Okay, week four against the Colts away. Ooh, I'm gonna say win because it's a revenge from last year. All these revenge games. I just it's it seems like we always have it seems like the Steelers have issues against the Colts uh, as far as if I can I'm if I, I don't know why but um yeah. yeah I think I feel like they're gonna lose that's gonna be that's gonna Leanne, be you have that as a loss also yeah so do I wow. I think that, I think the, the Colts are actually gonna be a pretty good team uh you have to admit they were they were brutally brutally damaged by injury last year mm-hmm. they're a healthy team they're a very good yeah. team i think really they're a wild game. card this year yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. probably one of the better run defenses in the nfl they're they're good yeah and Anthony Anthony Richardson, Richardson. I mean, he's fun to watch too right i mean those he, are always fun he to could watch. be a superstar or mm-hmm. he could be gone after in the second quarter because yeah. mm-hmm, he's right. too dumb to, to realize you're, you you can't run it over everybody mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. so no talent and there's no telling, but I mean, in theory, I mean, you know, if you look at physical traits, Anthony Richardson might, might be the most physically gifted quarterback ever, at least, you know, running wise. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but you know, I hear things like that that he doesn't know how to throw a football. So right. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. Um, all right. We go into October. It's Sunday night football against the Dallas Cowboys, October 6th. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. If it was any other day or time or if it was in Dallas, I would say this is a loss. But still, I have the Steelers going five and oh. What is wrong with it? That's wonderful. That's your Paul and Leanne, Joe. Right there, right, right now. Yeah, All of you, the rest of you are like two and two or three and one, and I have going five and zero. Oh. Where well, you I guys see to pick a loss eventually, even if I don't really believe it, like the indie one, because I'm like they gotta lose sometime. Right, right. On, man, you're being ridiculous. Well, I mean, if they start off the season five and zero, oh, it'll be beneficial <laughs> because you know that that latter half of the season is gonna gonna. You know, that's up whatever good they did in the first half. That's for sure. Okay, so what are you what are you guys picking for this game? I have it as a loss too. I think that Cowboys defense is going to be too much for this offense, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a loss. Yep, I'm saying loss as well. Leanne, uh, say loss. Yeah. Ooh. You guys are you guys are realistic. See, the funny thing is, like, I, I think know. they will be two and two after four games. It'll just be mm. not what who, who knows where there's losses. Right, right. yeah, it won't be what we chose. Okay, um, October thirteenth. It seems like it's a, a tradition now at Las Vegas. Right, that's crazy. I think this is a win. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's a win. We've broken the curse of the Raiders. We struggled with them for years. I think we shook that off. The ghost of Franco Harris will continue to protect us. TJ Watts will sack Gardner Minshew like four times and maybe yes. even Nick Herbig will get him a couple times. Yeah. My favorite story from going to that game last year, uh, there was so many Steeler fans. You talk about Atlanta. Mm. Uh, the flights were like 82 bucks out to oh. Vegas. The and um, crazy expensive to the game. I think it was maybe Randy Bauman had something similar. I forget who the Raiders quarterback went down. Uh, Minshew went down or somebody went down. And I turned to ask a Raider fan, Who's the backup quarterback? I couldn't find a Raider fan to ask. <laughs> <laughs> like, I looked at wow. like, you know, Hey, there's Leanne. There's you know, there's 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 Joe. There's yeah. Allison. Yeah, nobody's around. Yeah, so, I want to um, go because the that Steeler Nation does that pod or does that partners with that. What do you call it? Um, before the game, and uh, what do you call that before the game? How did my game show? Tailgate. 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 Yeah, yeah, the terrible tailgate and their their guest for the terrible tailgate. Allison and I got to meet Jeff Reed. Oh Your yeah, had Antonio oh, Brown Skippy. and Le'Veon Bell. Ooh, oh, wow. tailgate yeah. was, that would be really fun. I love drama, so I looked it up. And I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we'll see what happens with the Steelers, but tickets were like three hundred and fifty dollars to be like mm. up in the nosebleeds mm. for the, for the yep. game. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now, of course, the season hasn't even started yet. So, you know, things, Steelers tickets are expensive too right now. Right. So, you right. know, who knows? It could change, but 
as right. of the other day, I was like, ooh, because they're right. The flights are cheap. Hotels are cheap. Right. But the game, yeah. The game was expensive. Yeah, highly, you know, highly expensive. sought. I think the league said, hey, sorry about that back half of the schedule, but you could, you could have another Vegas trip. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Darren, do you, do you have this as a win or loss? I, I have it as a win, but I, I think don't get uh, too cocky in that because I really feel like uh, Raiders are going to have a pretty stout defense. I think mm -hmm. they'll keep this one close too. I don't think we'll go away, but uh, I think Leanne kind of, uh, or Alice, one of the, whoever said it, we figured out the Raiders a little bit. Uh, before it was like two years ago, automatic loss because like we couldn't figure out the Raiders, but figured about last year. I think they'll kind of keep it going this year. That's what they get for making their stadium a giant Roomba. <laughs> means, yeah, it means matter. they're just going to suck all the time. <laughs> Good one, me. <laughs> um, uh, October 20th, another Sunday night football game, home to the New York Jets. Oh, boy. I hate to say this. this is, to me, this is another loss. They're going 7-0. and oh. You mean another win? Another I'm sorry, win. another win. Another win. 7-0, <laughs> and oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, think it's a loss. Yeah, Jets, again, I mean, I, I really have very little faith in our offense this year. Um, the Jets' defense is just too good. Jets' uh, defense and is offense, really good. Offense is good enough. Kicker is good enough to keep it close. I think they win. Yeah, so, they were the uh, like they were the sole reason why the Jets almost made the playoffs last. Yeah, time. yeah, I got the I got I I think we lose in that one. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm saying the same here. Lost. Okay, to me, the Jets are such a huge wild card. Mm -hmm. Everyone has them being so good this year. Aaron Rodgers is going to be great. Oh my god! And like, you know, it's like yeah, they were they almost made the playoffs. Some with with that with with, with freaking Zach Wilson, who um, made who Zach Wilson makes Kenny Pickett look like you know the the love child of Joe Montana and Joe and Tom Brady. But I I just don't believe maybe maybe Aaron Rodgers will collapse at some point. But I think he's a giant fraud. He's an old he's a brittle old man. And he's a wacko, and I think he's going to destroy that team. Now he might destroy that team later in the season, or maybe it'll be bad. But I think I think he's just a fraud, and he sucks, and he's he's just a brittle, whack, old, weird man. Is it's, it's like it's like having your you know crazy uncle or, or grandpa being being the quarterback, and, and that's why I have no faith in in, in the Jets. Yeah. You remember how the Steelers like defense solely beat the Cleveland Browns in that one game? Like that's what I'm afraid is going to happen to us in the game against the Jets. Like their offense isn't going to be any good, but their defense is going to manage to put enough pressure on our offense because of our fractured offensive line and, you know, lack of wide receivers or whatever else it is and, and be able to make that a, a game that they win. We will yeah. see. All right. And then the next week, this is our this is our New Jersey gauntlet. They play home on Monday night football to the New York football giants. Win. 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 Eight Win. and O, oh, baby. Eight <laughs> and O. Oh. I, 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 I don't know that I can tolerate this. Like I never get out picked. Right. Last year. You made fun of me last year, and here you are, eight no. I don't. Maybe She's got a, a point. Maybe it's a well, laundry so detergent in that dude's year, shirt. Right? I don't know. It's I making mean... me crazy. Uh, the 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 the, the buy is week nine, which is like yeah. right in the middle of the season. Yeah. Win. Good. Win. Oh, win. 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 They're yeah. gonna win the buy. They're gonna win the buy. Uh, okay. Then we start the the second half. The 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 tough part of the schedule. Um, week ten and November tenth. At the Commanders, win, win, win. Although they're one of the tougher teams to figure out, I'm not sure yeah. if they're finally ready to take a step forward or not. I like the Jaden Daniels pick. Mm -hmm. um, then they just got rid of Johan Dotson, who I would love to have seen come here. Um, they're so dysfunctional. Yeah, but they're so dysfunctional. It's just like they're another team you can never trust. So yeah, win. I would have loved Dotson. That would have been perfect. Oh. Low risk. Could have gone for like a. Third or fourth yep. round draft pick or something Aaron like that. Warren even would have been perfect. Um, yep. oh, so, okay, so everybody has that. That is a win. Win. Yep. Now we begin the the conference the uh, the the division schedule. Home to the Ravens. Okay, now we're getting our first loss. I I'm going to go with a win. 
<laughs> I think it starts off with, and you know, it's the Ravens, and no matter, I don't care if the Ravens are Super Bowl contenders or guaranteed, the Steelers always have the best of them or have their number, and I think this is the the game they win. So uh, at home, I like us against the Ravens. Mm -hmm. I got us winning yeah. too. I think we'll split our division games with those teams. That's kind of my historical prediction every year that we, you know, with, with the new and improved AFC North, then we'll split the games with them. So I, I think we're going to beat the Ravens at home. I agree. Interesting. Okay. So now has them going 10 and O or something. Ten, well, no, I have them going 10 and one. Um, Who did they okay. Lose? Who did you pick as a loss? The, the the Ravens just this oh, this, this past one. Um, now we have November twenty first Thursday night football at the Browns. I think that's a guaranteed loss. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's a loss. short week playing a good team with a probably maybe question arguably the best defense in the NFL. It's a loss. Mm -hmm. Everybody has that as a loss. Cleveland in a new hunting Huntington Bank Stadium as it was re released today. Okay. December first um, at the Bengals. I say that's lost. a loss also. Yeah, I'm not lost. lost. Um, the the Bengals are my Super Bowl pick. Really? Yeah. yeah. Bengals against Lions. I think that's gonna be the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow, man. I saw Joe Burrow's hair for the first time today, and I was like, what the <laughs> is that is that is he trying is that his Cody Rhodes cosplay thing? Yes, <laughs> he's yeah, he's trying to be Cody uh, Rhodes. Shady. Like remember Cody the old Rhodes is the video? Right, yeah, yeah. With real slim shady pre stand up. That's who he looks like he's trying to be. <laughs> That's yeah, I think it's Cody Rhodes is one, uh Slim Shady's two, and then the Zach Morris yeah. one's not bad, but Zach had more <laughs> hair. Oh, Zach yeah. what from from Saved by the Bell. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. feel like it's too blonde to be that like it's super blonde. It's if so if I looked blonde. at it right, it looked like it's almost white. Right? Listen, when you look like the home alone kid, you would radically change your look too. <laughs> Um, that's true. That's true. Home, um, December eighth, week fourteen. Home to the Browns. I say uh, it's a loss. Win. I go with the Leanne playbook on that one. I think they split them. I think it's a win. So Leanne, you have that as a win, also. I have it as a win. Um, December fifteenth at the Eagles. Bet your house. Bet your neighbor's house. Bet uh, your your children. That is a guaranteed loss. Yeah, Eagles are good. Uh, they're really good. Um, I think it's a loss too. I think Jalen Hurts bounces back, bounces back in a big year this year. I think, I think, I think the Eagles are going. Yeah, I agree. I think the Eagles are going to be really good this year. There's no way they could possibly suck again. There's, there's just way too much talent on that team. Yeah. Um, by the way, I was at the the pit game. Pitt played Kent State in their home opener on Saturday. And they do this thing. I'm sure they do it in every college where it's like, hey, let's take a look at how our our uh, our players are playing in the pros. And they oh, show no. this guy and that guy. And, that. and then they show Kenny Pickett and the crowd starts booing. Booed him. <laughs> so classless. Like, <laughs> guys, Pitts has sucked for all of my life. And the only reason they were good and, and won a conference uh, right, championship, a conference the one year championship was because of – any yeah. pick and then the kid. Yeah. Show but, some you know, appreciation. I mean, it I think that's where, you know, Pittsburgh and Philly, they have that passion, guys. And I just think like um the Stiller fans came out over the Pitt fans. And I, I don't say you're wrongly <laughs> or Joe, but yeah, I, I saw it's, that. And I'm thinking, it's hard to, to separate because, I mean, I am a diehard Pitt fan, but I'm also a Steeler fan. I did not boo. I laughed. <laughs> I laughed at the people booing. <laughs> but... it, it is, that, is that, you know, it did, like, I don't know. I guess I look at it like this way all the time. Like, I don't think he did anything that was so terrible. Do you know what I mean? I don't mm. think he intentionally, like, lost games or crapped all over the franchise. He wasn't very good. I think he got thrown to the wolves. He had a terrible offensive coordinator, a bad offensive line. It's I think the way he Left. Overinflated coming out yeah. of college. I think he threw a temper tantrum like a little child and left. But look, I don't begrudge anybody doing what they have to do. So it didn't work out. And if you're going to be a baby, then I'd rather see the back of you. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't have any ill will towards him. I cheered for him when he was here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I cheered for him. Cheer for yeah. anybody who's a stealer. Yeah. But I think, I mean, it was not. It was just like a small number of people that were booing. And I, heard, I think like, some people said it was like, 
a massive amount of people yeah. and the other people are like yeah. it was a handful of people so first of all there was not a massive amount of people in the stadium it was right. it was half no, you talk, it's <laughs> <a> <laughs> honest about how many people went to this game first of all that's that's why i like going to those pit games the weather is warm and yeah. i can sit anywhere i want and i have two three seats all of myself i can spread out you know steeler game i'm all smushed in because there's it's, it's, it's packed that's why i like going to pit games um Week 16, December 21st at the Ravens. I say that's a loss, too. Loss. 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 See, I think when, when, every, when everybody says, look at their record against the Ravens, they're 7-1 and one in the last four years. S some of that is the Ravens have been so good that they play their, their backups. And some of that is, well, I don't want to say luck, but the, I think law of averages is going to come back and bite them on that one. I, I think this is, to me, this is the beginning of the down spiral, right? And this is, we talked about this a while back in, in Allison. I think you chimed in about how tough that is. It's three games over 14 days. Mm -hmm, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, I lost to the Eagles, lost to the Ravens, and I'll already tell you, it's a loss to the Chiefs. I mean, that turnaround time is ridiculous. It's already a short week because they're going to play Saturday against the Ravens, yeah. and yeah. then they're going to play Christmas at, at, at against the Chiefs. I think that's another loss. I don't yeah. care what I don't I don't yeah. care if, I don't care if the, I don't care if it, the, the Chiefs sit all their players. I think they would still beat the Steelers. I think Carson went would Carson Wentz Chiefs would, would beat the Steelers. It would be different for me if this was like the Giants and the Cardinals and the Saints, but it's it's arguably three of the best teams in the entire league. Right. And, uh, again, you know, it's not the Steelers suck. It's a young team, which mm -hmm. this is what you go through as a young team. You know, so, yeah, loss, loss, loss for me. Yep. And then the last week 18, we don't have a – we don't we don't have a uh, a date. Of this game, right? Which yeah, is really I mean, weird. Usually, the last the last tournament. game of the season is kind of always TBD, right? Until like it's TBD. But are we talking New Year's Eve? Or are we talking? I don't know. Well, no, it would have to be. They would have to get a nice break, so it would be like yeah. like first week in January or something like that. I gotta disagree with 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 Darren on this one because I think that the since he's gonna lock up the division, and so I don't think they're gonna be playing all their starters. And this is at home, and this is our chance to beat the Bengals because we're gonna split these games with the Bengals, and we already okay. gave them the win. So I think we beat the Bengals. Well, I okay. I, so not the correct, but I have uh, lost to Philly, Baltimore, and the Chiefs. I didn't have them losing to Cincinnati. Do you have oh, so you, you, so you think lost, they'll, they'll beat Cincinnati? No, we didn't get sorry, to the Bengals. Yet. Okay, so, so, so the last three. So last sure. game, Bengals at home. Darren, you have a win. Leanne, you have a win. Allison, what do you have? Uh, I think they're gonna lose. Lose. Okay. So but, I you know have that's them. an interesting game, guys, because to Joe's point, I think the Bengals are gonna be better too. This is a Bengals team was really bad and decimated by injury, and they they finished at five over five hundred last year. Mm -hmm. um, that game could be that swing game for the eighth seed in the playoffs. Right. It could be, there could be a lot on the line that game. Yeah. And you know, the reason I have a little bit of a win there, uh, I know I've been critical of them, but in those type of games, I like Tomlin to maybe come out on top. You know, I, I just figure out a way might not be pretty, mm -hmm. uh, might be damn, damn down ugly, but, uh, mm -hmm. just kind of feel that's the way that would go. So, Yeah. So our final totals is I have them going 10 and seven. Darren, you have them going seven and 10. Allison, you have them going seven and 10. And Leon, you have them going nine and eight. Yeah, I'm really on the fence because there's a part of me that thinks we're going to get a Christmas miracle, but I'll stick with my nine and eight. Well, it's I interesting think... now that we tally the numbers because I, 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 you know, I was adamant that it's not going to be Tomlin's first losing season. And now I basically yeah. just said it was going. Yeah. <laughs> well, but it'd I, be one of those difficult ones too, uh, right? Because there's always that faction. Tomlin sucks. He's just knows how to win in the regular season. Uh -huh. The mini has a, a losing season. They, they forget Cowher had some losing seasons. Um, but the way I do look at it is this would be the one year that's almost not fair to him uh -huh. because of the brutality of that schedule. And I think what it was at Joe, when they start with Baltimore at home, uh, those last one, two, three, four, five, th those last eight or nine games are just, a, I mean, brutal. it's got to be tough to schedule. It's, yeah. it's yeah. brutal. It's you like have a team that's young. You have an offensive line right now. It's a little banged up. You have, I still can't get over the fact that you have a guy should be a franchise left tackle playing at right tackle. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I, you know, uh, the only thing where I think they score a couple wins in there too is cold weather 
late in the season. And if you want to bring in the Arthur Smith faction, then I'm good with, they may just run the ball down their throats and do the best they can. And uh, we're still going to be in that area. We're not going to score a lot of 20, much above 21 or 24 points a game, but it might be just enough to get a few wins in that time of the year. But um, mm-hmm. it'll be hard to say, oh, Tomlin does, can't get it done. Give me next year. You know, and what, what can we do in the off- the Steelers for years, like this really horrible, tough schedule. Like, I don't think this is new, but the difference is, is that we haven't had a team that's been like this young and disjointed and the new offensive mm-hmm. coordinator. And I don't know, for some reason, even like Kenny Pickett's first year, it didn't feel quite this like chaotic to me, like as it does right now, like in past years, you know, when they always put us up against Tom Brady every single year, at least you could say like we had Ben Roethlisberger, do you know what I mean? And we had that good offensive line and we had a good defense and you had all this stuff going on. We were winning games. We were contenders, but like now, like it just feels like intentionally beaten up on a team while they're down a little bit. Yeah. 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 Chiefs, Eagles and Ravens within 14 days. So that to me, that says it yeah. all. Um, that's, 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 that, 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 that that Christmas gauntlet with the strength of those teams that we're playing. And, and then it's like the Saturday, Wednesday, Sunday, or whatever that is. I right. mean, that's just, that's just, how do you talk Ridiculous. about player safety? And that's what you have. Right. That going? right. right. Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. Let me you guys here. Let's take what Joe just did. That's with Russell Wilson as quarterback. What would you say? That's true. If yeah. fields was our quarterback. Would it change your opinion? Uh, of the I schedule think or your it record? would be nine and eight. I think it would be it would be maybe maybe even eight and nine. I think if okay. if, if it was fields all year, yeah. I think he would do things that are amazing, and I think that would he would do things that that would drive us crazy. Mm-hmm. And I think it would all even out, but I think it would be slightly worse than than Russell Wilson. I'm hoping that that Arthur Smith has designed that kind of offense that we keep hearing that he's going to design, which is one that, you know, makes it so that whether it's Russell Wilson or it's Justin, Justin Fields, that you have an effective game manager who can kind of control the run game and, you know, make some of those passes and, and you know, in the case of Justin Fields, either the deep, you know, the deep ball for Wilson or some running for Justin Fields, that, you know, they have enough that they can kind of make something happen without having to have like a Patrick Mahomes under center. Do you know what I mean? That's right. a different kind of offense. So, I mean, that's my hope is that it's, you know, it's going to be the, I call it like the Brock Purdy offense. Like Brock Purdy is not a great quarterback. He's in a great offensive system that almost any quarterback could go into and succeed because I think it's designed so well. I don't think he's Patrick Mahomes by any stretch. I'm not knocking the kid, but you know, I just think he's in a really good situation. So my hope is that this new scheme by Arthur Smith is good enough that with either quarterback, it would be close. Yeah, I agree. You put Kirk Cousins in the 49ers, they win. Yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. I'm not saying I'm not saying somebody better. I'm saying that oh, I know I I'm agree with a lot of quarterbacks in there that could do what Brock Purdy does. I don't think he's yeah. doing anything that's that special. Yeah, no, I'm agreeing with you. I think it's a great yeah. point. I, 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 all we need from the offense is just to be average. All we need from the offense yeah. is to just not have so many three and outs. That's yeah. all we need. Yeah. We just need to be better than last year. That's it. Do, oh, do you think the, do you think this year's defense is better than last year's defense? I say 100%. yes. Yeah. Yes. 100%. So the we defense have- improved. We just need the offense to improve. And we're not, yeah, like you said, we're not asking them to, to you know, put up 40 points a game. We're just asking, even if they don't score, just eat up the clock or something like that. Keep the defense <laughs> fresh. Right. Complimentary mm-hmm. football, people. That's all we want. Yeah. Barring and any that- injuries, I don't see any like 34 to 10 losses in here. Um, I just kind of yeah. keep on thinking back, like, you know, in those years when Cowher was going six and ten, the other thing was happening. He was drafting guys like Heinz Ward and Troy Polamalu, you know, mm-hmm. and he was drafting guys like Alan Fanica. And I'm not saying or proclaiming, and these guys they just drafted are those guys. I think Roman Wilson could be a great slot receiver someday. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just think that they're in that lull. And I don't think it's I don't think there's a blame game here. It's just this is the way ebbs and tides. Mm-hmm. Steeler fans have been very lucky that Mike Tomlin has been able to have a winning season all these years. Uh, and if you lose a little bit, you lose a little bit. So yeah. everybody's I'm not saying Steelers suck. I'm saying I just feel like they're in that area right now where 
Yeah. yeah. We never had our post Hall of Fame quarterback uh, recession or our, our, you know, our part where we sucked. Look at the Patriots. When oh. Brady left, they went to hell. Look at the Steelers when when uh, Ben, ben Roethlisberger ben. left. It did not go to hell. We still yeah. were able to have a winning record with Mitch Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, and Mason freaking Rudolph. Mm. And that is a testament to Tomlin, which is great. But we're stuck in the middle. And, yeah, and, and now we're at this spot where we're still saying, what the hell do we do? Who's our quarterback? We don't know who our quarterback is next year. Right. Yeah. The quarterback that. may or may not be on the roster. So how much do you think it matters, whether it's Justin Fields or Wells, Russell Wilson? Because I feel like they're in the same boat here. How much do you think it impacts gameplay this year that these guys need it? Like they need it. Do you know what I mean? For different but similar reasons, like they both feel like they have to prove it. Russell Wilson has to prove that he wasn't like the ruination of the Denver Broncos and it wasn't all his fault and he still can play. And Justin Fields needs to prove that he wasn't like a total wash coming out of college. You know what I mean? He, mm -hmm. He's got to prove that he's got a legitimate shot at a career. How much do you think that helps either one of them? I think it's huge. I think yeah. that's huge think motivation. And I think that's, I think that's part of their, the, the, the Steelers mindset. And maybe that's what they were doing to Najee. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, if we give you a contract, you're going to be all fat and happy, <laughs> but we're going to make me. you, we want you to have your career year and yeah. then, Hey, maybe go somewhere else, somewhere, somewhere else uh, next year. Who, who cares? We have a lot you know, of those prove it guys on our team this year. Exactly. Yeah, There's yeah, a lot yeah. of prove it. There's a lot of yeah. I mean, Russell Wilson is not just playing for, he's playing for his career. Yeah. Yeah. He's, but right I do now, feel like the go. thought of Russell Wilson is. He's a joke. He's an old man. He sucks. He ruined the Broncos. He um, even even the even Seahawks fans hate him. Yeah. He need, he so needs to rehabilitate his image in his career. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think so away. too. I mean, I, I totally agree, and, and I feel like for sure there's there's no way he he wouldn't want to do that. But I think just because of the opposite ends of the spectrum that they are in their careers, I feel like Justin Fields. You know what I mean? Like his career. Like if he ends up coming in and playing, you know, for the Steelers or whatever, and he ends up sucking. He's done. I mean, it's like, he's going to be a career backup. Yeah, yeah his, it's over because you know? they're not going to tolerate a guy that's going to turn it over. Really, I mean, he needs – it's more of an ego thing, I think, for he, him. He's playing for his career, but let's say there's a scenario where J Russell Wilson plays all year mm -hmm. and you right. barely see – Justin Fields at all. Yeah, then what do That's we do, kind right? of okay because he's he's he he's still, you know, mm -hmm. he could go he could go try it again somewhere else, be the the, yeah. you know, the number two guy. Uh I just feel like if if we're gonna pick a quarterback, right? I, I would like it to be Fields next year, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if he, you know, as long he, as he doesn't come in and like totally crap the bed, if we don't know what he can do, you know what I mean, during no... the regular season, it's like ah. No doubt he's a playmaker. Uh, I mean, he, mm -hmm. right. you know, I was in the probe right. quite a bit and I had my little pass and I wasn't exactly doing a lot of media stuff. It was work related and whatnot. But, and I told Joe, some of the spirals he threw were incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he, there, he has a much bigger arm than Wilson. And he, he can be at times more accurate. Uh, there's a couple times he took off and it was like, good night. You are yeah, not right. going to get him. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, one thing too, Allison, we touched on a little bit earlier. The one thing I did here at camp, and Joe and I've talked about this a few times. There's a lot of positivity with this offense. And the guys who were here the last couple of years, Fryermuth being one of them, is a little vocal. I feel finally feel like we know what we're doing. Like we have mm -hmm. a direction. Like we have the words I the words I heard a lot were I feel like we have a plan. Which mm -hmm. we don't want to bury Matt Cannon any more than we have, but it just proves <laughs> that they didn't feel no. that way the last couple of years. Keep on burying him. Well, mm -hmm. Right. So <laughs> right, yeah, pile it on, Joe. Yeah. Um, no. So, you know, there is some sense of that. And, and you're right. I mean, Fields' turnovers during preseason scare a lot of people. But, man, I think that he's – he could be a playmaker, make a difference maker. And I want to see him succeed. I hope he does. Um, but Russell Wilson is brought in because he doesn't turn the ball over. You know, he's one of the best in NFL history in, turn out, in turnover percentage. And that's what you – this offense, is. that's what you need. You need a guy that's not going to turn over the ball. And if you can get Justin Fields in there and do a little Cordell Stewart stuff, I'm really showing my yinzer now. Uh, <laughs> great. You know, run, throw deep, whatever he's going to do. 
you know, um, and, and develop him that way and, and watch Russell Wilson because I know he's 35, but hey, my guy last year had 25 touchdowns and six inner picks. We would have killed for that last year. Yeah. Probably, probably would have made a difference in having us be maybe a 10 win team or 11 win team if that would have happened last year. We just didn't have it. Now it, we do. It That's makes me, offense. it, it yeah. makes me laugh that, uh, Tomlin last week said, uh, oh, yeah. I know you guys are asking about uh, fields and special packages and stuff. So, yeah, we might do something like that. Like, nobody asked you that, bro. You just want to throw it out there. <laughs> right. You know, I said now, to somebody, though, people went nuts. And they're like, Mike Tomlin said to weaponize Justin Fields. I was like, no, he didn't, dumbass. You need to listen. He said maybe. <laughs> I said he says maybe to everything. Because you know what? Maybe pigs will fly out of his butt. It could happen. It's all not very likely. I'm like, y'all need to act like you've well, never been here before. Did he only- actually come out and say – Raheem Morris has to be prepared for Justin Fields. Exactly. Field That's no. why he did yeah. it. Yeah, he yeah. Just They're said, like best buddies or something, aren't they? Yeah. Kind well, of no, he's he's telling the other team, ha ha, now you have to prepare for Justin right, Fields. Right. Yeah, ha yeah. ha. Yeah. You have to, instead right. of preparing for whatever is actually going to happen, or you're going to pre- prepare for this theoretical thing that probably isn't right. going to yeah. happen. Everybody knows that there's like no chance that he's going to be sending Justin Fields out there to run any kind of special packages. It doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. Right. No, and you know, and then, but that's why I kind of have that game going into the Falcons as a loss because it's some behind the scenes stuff too, guys. It's really hard to go against a team you have really no film on. That team is so new, new coaching, new offensive pattern. Is You're not really sure what they're going to do. They, they're basically going off of last year's film. What the hell's good is that? So it's a very yeah. difficult win. They're better, I think, than the Falcons are. But it's a big ask to have them go and beat a team they know really nothing about. But isn't that us too, though? Aren't they doing That's the true. same thing? A little bit, thing, yeah. They but don't have more, to film on us either. We're a little bit known, but the in theory, Atlanta knows what we're gonna do because they know oh. Arthur Smith. In theory, in mm-hmm. theory. We'll see. But he wasn't the offensive coordinator there. He was the head coach. And I think that that's a, a very different kind of role. Do you know what I mean? I don't I don't think they were necessarily in Atlanta running his offense from Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Right. The, the well, But that's because the Falcons last year had, I believe, Desmond Ritter. Yeah. And I think the year before that, they had Marcus Mariota. And either those two guys combined are not as good as Kenny Pickett. They are. Right. Horrible, yeah. horrible, horrible quarterbacks. That's so, exactly. so, so, yeah. I mean, and, and I think, I think Arthur Smith is just not a head coach, but he, he, I think he is a good offensive coordinator. So, mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. and he has a lot to prove. He has, but, now, but, sorry, go ahead, Derek. Are you going to the game in, uh, in Atlanta this year too? No, I'm not. Oh, oh. lost my foot. You were a good luck yeah, charm. So yeah, <laughs> I was hoping for a selfie or something there. Oh, yeah. Alice and I need to do a game again soon. That was really yeah. fun, but I won't yeah, make it sure. to Atlanta this year. We mm. should, the four of us should really try to get to a game together. I think that'd be I a lot that. of fun. That we would do be the cool. podcast live from the. Yeah. Yes. When Allison and I went to Atlanta, we did our our show live from there. It was uh-huh. really fun. Very yeah, cool. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Very cool. Aww. Um. Yeah, I, oh. I, I, I'm just, I, 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 yes, I said I had them going four and zero, oh, but I think what's actually going to happen is they're going to start one and three, and people are going to freak out, right. and then, and then they're going to get it together because that's what Tomlin teams do. They it start out slow and they figure yeah. it out, and they, and they get. So you know what? They're going to suck until they're, they're going to suck until week nine. They're going to suck into the bye, and then after the bye, they're going to figure it out. And even though it's a gauntlet, even though it's a tough schedule. They're gonna they're they're gonna figure it out. It's probably gonna end up being nine and eight or ten and seven. That would be the most Steeler thing ever to yeah. Oh, yeah. lose the first half of the season and then kill it the last exactly. half of the season for all these games yeah. you're supposed to lose. That's such exactly. a cool thing to do. You throw in there, you're gonna get a Cam Sutton that's very healthy and still right. a very good. Player. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm not still. I, I hate to be this way. I'm still not sure. I'm liking him picking him up for a mm-hmm. lot of reasons. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Maybe I'm that guy. Maybe I'm that guy. No, no, you're you're right. I no. mean, what you know, no. what he did but, was terrible. Like, like, mo- like most Steelers thing ever would be him picking off three or four balls over the last eight or nine weeks, yeah. and and we win because of one of his turnovers. And mm-hmm. you know, um, we'll see. Another guy I mean, that's on a little bit of a redemption tour once he gets back. Yeah, uh-huh. right. Oh, yeah. another one. Prove oh, yeah. it. And that might come along at the right time because that's yeah. when we hit that gauntlet. And we could use a fresh guy. That's right. Yeah. 
That's right. That's why I think Talman didn't. Talman knew, you know, he was going to be. Talman had to know he was going to be suspended for a long oh, time. Right. So, right. I, don't right. Long, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this long though. I don't think. I don't think eight yeah. games. But, but still, but minimum, still. Right. Was yeah, it yeah, minimum, right. like six games or something? So I mean, you knew mm-hmm. he was going to get at least six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Six yeah. made sense. Eight was eight was pretty harsh, which makes you think what he did was really, really bad. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And he didn't even appeal it. No. He's like, not. why didn't yeah. the yeah. cops cost him those extra two weeks running right, from yeah. the cops? Do you know what I mean? Not just owning your nonsense and dealing with it. Yep. I think that hurt him. Yep. yep. The one universal thing a lot of people said about him, though, including in Detroit, is how intelligent. Yeah. He oh is yeah. With the oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It up and mm-hmm. like. Yeah. Uh, Tomlin at one point had him no no problem eventually being defensive captain, but you know things happen, blah blah blah. And right, so yeah, right. so that could be a shot, an extra boost too there, Joe, in that in that last you know eight or nine weeks. Maybe you're right. We will see. We will see. Oh my God, guys, we're talking about actual football. Yay! The last six months have been geared toward this week. Oh, Finally, so yes. No mock drafts, no OTAs, no training camp stats, no, no, no seven shots. Actual <laughs> football. So excited. So yep. am I. And all I'm right. so happy that we all got together. I love yeah, when we yeah. all are able yes. to, yeah, to hang same out. Yeah, same here, so. Leanne. It's been a while since, I mean, like I was gone for a while and then you were yeah. a little bit and then, yeah. uh, then we were both gone and now yeah. the whole We got the back band together. back together again, back baby. Together. Yes. Guys, yes. thanks so much for your time. Thank, you. Thank you. you guys. Thank you guys. Have a good week.